This is actually a really neat part of uh, base camp here. This is um, the spiritual heart and soul of the expedition. When we first got here, no one was allowed to move up on the mountain until we all assembled here and a monk from the lower valley came up here and he conducted a puja, which is a um, well, several hour long ceremony, but essentially it was to bless the expedition and bless all the Sherpa members and make sure everybody feels comfortable that it was safe for us to travel on the mountain. What's really nice about it, and it's a cool tradition, is that whenever anybody goes up on the mountain, whether it's Sherpas or Scotty and me climbing, we stop here and we grab some juniper. This is a, you probably passed, mm, smells good, you probably passed some of these when you were walking up the hill, the little shrubs that are going on the ground, the juniper. And these are different variety of juniper, the leaves. So we collect some in here and then we light it on fire, which I think is kind of fun. Let's see if we can get a good fire going. There you go. Yeah, don't worry, sorry, burn your jacket. <laughs> so you get a little juniper fire going, you get that smoke happening and ah, you get that in oh, there. Yeah. See how that goes, that's pretty fast. There we go, it's nice and dry. And so this is part of uh, all the religious ceremonies that the Sherpas participate in, the burning of juniper. In that little can behind you there, you'll find a little bit of uh, rice. Yeah, open that up. We reach in here and we grab a little rice. Put it in your hand there. Grab them, put some in my hands. And then we just kind of toss it up. The Sherpas go, mm -hmm, like that. <laughs> and you know, I'm not a Buddhist, you're not a Buddhist, but it's kind of the fun rituals of the uh, Sherpa culture and being in Nepal, getting a little juniper fire burning. It's basically just to court good luck and good fortune as we go up the mountain, because it's a pretty dangerous place. So I figure all the help we can get, I'll take it. So this is kind of the heart of a base camp. So you know, this is all a rock and ice and an and active moraine. And so luckily we have such a great Sherpa team. They've been using picks and shovels and made these nice little, come on over here, these nice little flat platforms for us, which is a lot of work. And after maybe like two weeks or not even, we have to do it all over again because your tent starts tipping over. But luckily you're only here for a couple of days. But this one is your tent. Yeah, <laughs> I think your mom's already in there. Why don't you? Hi, mom. Hi. But <laughs> claustrophobic is the word, and it's not. Yeah, I know what you mean, though. Claustrophobic-ish. It is a little tight in here, but at least you'll be snuggled close to your mom, and you guys will stay warm. At least if all our bags are here, keep heat. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's the best way to do it. Then you can stay in the middle.